Lesson 6, Parallelism and Implementing Stored Outlines Part 1, Implementing Stored Outlines As you migrate from one database to another, the execution paths for your queries may change. Your execution paths may change for several reasons. You may be using a different optimizer in different databases, cost-based in one, rule-based in another. You may have enabled different optimizer features in the different databases. The statistics for the query tables may differ in the databases. The frequency with which statistics are gathered may differ among the databases. The databases may be running different versions of the Oracle kernel. The effects of these differences on your execution paths can be dramatic and can have a significant negative impact on your query performance as you migrate or upgrade your application. To minimize the impact of these differences on your query performance, Oracle introduced a feature called a stored outline in Oracle 8 i a stored outline stores a set of hints for a query. Those hints will be used every time the query is executed. Using the stored hints will increase the likelihood that the query will use the same execution path each time. Hints do not mandate an execution path, they are hints, not commands, but do decrease the impact of database moves on your query performance. You must have the create any outline system privilege in order to create an outline. Use the create outline command to create an outline for a query. If you do not specify a name for your outline, the outline will be given a system generated name. Once an outline has been created, you can alter it. For example, you may need to alter the outline to reflect significant changes in data volumes and distribution. You can use the rebuild clause of the alter outline command to regenerate the hints used during query execution. You can also drop an outline. To manage stored outlines, Use the Outline PKG package, which gives you three capabilities. Drop outlines that have never been used. Drop outlines within a specific category. Move outlines from one category to another. To drop outlines that have never been used, execute the drop unused procedure. To drop all of the outlines within a category, execute the drop by cat procedure, which has the name of the category as its only input parameter. The following example drops all of the outlines within the development category. To reassign outlines from an old category to a new category, use the update by cat procedure. Part 2. Parallelism If your server has multiple processors, and the data being queried is distributed across multiple devices, then you may be able to improve the processing of your queries by parallelizing the data access and sorting operations. When a query is parallelized, multiple processes are run in parallel, each of which accesses or sorts data. 
A query coordinator process distributes the workload and assembles the query results for the user. The degree of parallelism, the number of scanning or sorting processes started for a query, can be set at the table level. The optimizer will detect the table level settings for the degree of parallelism and will determine the number of query server processes to be used during the query. The optimizer will dynamically check the number of processes and devices involved in the query and will base its parallelism decisions on the available resources. You can influence the parallelism of your queries via the parallel hint. In the following example, a degree of parallelism of 4 is set for a query of the TB transactions table. Because the sorting operation can also be parallelized, the query may use 9 query server processes instead of 5, 4 for the table scan, 4 for the sort, and 1 for the query coordinator. If a small, frequently accessed table is read via a full table scan, that table's data can be kept in the SGA for as long as possible. You can mark the table as belonging to the keep pool, using the buffer pool clause of the create table or alter table command. If the table has been designated for storage in the keep pool, its blocks in memory are kept apart from the main cache. If the keep pool is sized adequately, the blocks will remain in memory until the database is shut down. The keep pool must be configured by the DBA, and it must be large enough to accommodate the tables that are to use it. Creating a keep pool that is too small will generate the opposite of the intended effect. More physical reads will be required for the most active tables. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit learn with video tutorials com